Hi, I'm John, and today I'm going to talk about something I discovered over the weekend, which is this little program called uh, Cool-Retro-Term, which is how it's listed in the uh, app store that I use, uh, whether it's for Linux, Mint, or Kubuntu, either one. It's not registered as CRT screen or anything like that, but it's Cool-Retro-Term, and you can pick it up there. And this may not be new uh, to some of you. Some of you are probably looking at this going, yeah, yeah, I know about that. But for me, it was new this weekend. I thought it was really cool because I didn't know I could do this with my terminal. So I've launched the program and uh, it gives you the CRT simulation that a lot of us like from way back. And right here, right now, uh, this happens to look like evidently a Commodore 64, which I never used. And, uh, uh, you know, it's just one of those things that you can do. Now, what's great about this is you right click on the screen anywhere and a little menu pops up and it says settings and you can change uh, the settings. So you can go from default amber, monochrome green, Green scan lines, what's called. Default pixelated, that doesn't come out very well. Neither does this Apple one either. Uh, vintage, you know, that, that doesn't come out well either. IBM DOS uh, looks a little blurry, but I'll show you how to fix that. IBM 3278 and futuristic. So these are the different profiles it comes by default. Now, it has a tab here called effects and with the effects you can change all these different things um, i'm going to change from this uh, default amber and go to monochrome green um, or should i go with green scan lines no monochrome green i'll go there and uh, you go into the effects and you have all these different effects that you can change so bloom is like uh, when you have you know, too much light around the text, and it gives this aura about it. Uh, so that's what Bloom is. Uh, burn in, uh, I don't know what that is. Static noise, you can take that static noise out. Uh, jitter, you can have it quit jittering, and I don't really like the jitter. Uh, the glow line, you can take that out. That's that line that goes down through, like a lot of CRT screens did back in the day, if you had a really old one or cheap one. Uh, screen curvature, uh, you know, I go up to like 40% on this. So you can get the feel of the screen curve as you can see there. I don't know if you can see it that well. There it is without the screen curvature, there it is with. Uh, ambient light and uh, flickering and horizontal sync and then RGB shift. I'm sorry, I had to look behind my camera. So let me turn these all back on. These are the different effects you can get with each one. And then if you change those effects, you can save it as a new profile. So you can do that and uh, get it any way you want. Because what's going to happen each time you go in, even if you make changes to, like, say, default amber, and you're going to change the effect, uh, I'm going to take out the jitters, the glow line, um, the static noise, things like that. If you don't save it, uh, you'll come back into the way it was originally by default. So once you make these changes, go back in and then save it. Save it as a new profile, whatever that might be. Really simple to use, really easy. The effects are great. I mean, for me, I always like uh, stuff that looks like when I started doing computing and uh, didn't always have a green screen, although uh, a screen like this, uh, one of my roommates had back in the day, and he um, had this little 386 machine, uh, and it had this little screen on it, and the little screen was green. And it was cool. So you get this look of an original type of command line screen from back in the day. And this is the way I'm going to use my terminal. 
because I like it. It's a throwback for me. And it makes me think of those old days of computing before everything got to be kind of automated, that type of thing. Uh, one of the things that I was going to mention, let's go back into the settings. Um, and I'm going to go to IBM DOS. Now, if you look at this, IBM DOS comes through by default as kind of a blurry thing. Uh, so you need to go down. And for some reason, by default, they put in RGB shift. So you unclick that and then you get, you know, a regular DOS look. I'm going to take out the jitter. Uh, static noise I'll leave in. The glow line I'll take out. The screen curvature was part of the deal back in the day, but you didn't really notice it because you didn't notice it. Uh, I mean, this is kind of the way I remember DOS uh, being uh, back in the day. And uh, I, I still like DOS and I still like how it is. Uh, you'd get different colors and, and things like that. I think DOS was maybe, um, you know, really one of the best uh, uh, terminals there ever was. Um, Microsoft DOS was, was good that way. In fact, I think DOS was, when you get right down to it, maybe one of the best uh, operating systems you could use. It wasn't multitasking or anything like that. But there was just something about it. You'd go from one program to another. You could only run one at a time. And I get that. It's not as productive. But it was cool. It was really cool. So uh, let me clear this off here in just a second. So it's really a, uh, uh, a nice way uh, to go back retro. And so let's really... Uh, go back one more time. I'm going to change this, put that screen curvature in, and uh, you definitely get that feel. It just reminds me of the way things used to be, and this is what I'm going to use from now on. Uh, I'm not going to go back to uh, the standard uh, terminal. I'm um, not going to do that. Let's see where it is. You know, it's a Linux terminal. It's, it's great and everything. But this is more fun, and this is just about fun. So this is something I found over the weekend. Uh, maybe some of you have already done this kind of thing. Uh, I don't know, but it's, it's cool. I like it, and uh, it, it just is just a really nice look, and it just reminds me of the way things used to be uh, in the old days of computing uh, before all this other stuff came about. Back when people who were doing it, we were a, a small group, relatively speaking, before the internet, before all these other people came on board. And uh, it, was, uh, it was a different world. And this just brings me back to it all over again. So that's uh, cool-retro-term. And you put that into your... Uh, uh, package manager. Uh, it should pop up and you should be able to run this <clears throat> really with any Linux distribution that you have. Anyway, that's it for today. I thought I'd share this with you because I thought it was cool. And uh, let me know if there's anything else I should be covering. Um, but that's pretty much it for today. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.